Hi, this is Mike Hells from Emerson working with Topworks um, and this is the second part of our video looking at um, Trex and also the AMS um, environment um, working with Foundation Field Bus on our DXP device. So in the last video we, we looked at um, setting up the device and, and now what we're going to do is look at some of the, the variables and some of the um, features and benefits um, that you're able to see within the, our DXP device and with an Emerson Trex. Um, so what we're looking at now is, is the um, analog position um, and this is a trend so what we're able to do is uh, we're actually able to have a look at um, positions within the device and, and sort of like make a footprint uh, of how it's actually operating um, in terms of the timing um, when it's opening and when it's closing and initially what you can do is you can create a footprint when you first initialize the device store that footprint information um, and then over time you can you, you can look at that footprint and see what changes it's made um, because what you can do with that data is you can analyze that data um, and with analytics you, what you're able to do then is you're able to see whether perhaps the actuator um, is not operating quickly enough maybe the springs are wearing maybe the seals are wearing um, and along with some of the other Emerson devices um, we've got lots of uh, especially with the, um, the product ranges that we have within our product group um, we can also measure things like um, pressure so we have um, within the Eventix um, portfolio we have a, um, a device that measures pressures um, and obviously does a footprint in the same way so with these number of um, devices again you can mod probably mix it up with um, pressure sensors and, and flow sensors and really have a, a, a true overview of, of how your um, device is operating especially if it's a, a critical application you need to measure all these parameters and then using all these parameters along with industry 4.0 and industrial internet of things um, you're able to basically look at the maintenance uh, uh, and scheduling of your device uh, and, and do preventative maintenance um, with these analytics uh, and ensure that you're getting the best out of your device um, so this is quite useful really um, with this analog position again this is just a, an overview of how it works so what I'm doing now is I'm zooming into the times um, I'm making the scale either bigger or smaller um, and obviously because I'm, I'm, I'm manually moving this you, you, it's a little bit difficult to see the open and close positions but um, you know you, you can basically see the footprint that it creates so by moving this it, it's registering the analog positions and you're creating this footprint over time um, and you know this again with analytics this can be very useful to to be able to ensure that your product's working in the, the correct um, correct way so really just skipping through the menus here um, you know what, what you're able to do is you're able to set um, um, alarms alerts whatever you need to, to look at and um, within the device um, there's a number of alarms um, that you can set depending upon each device the different variables um, I haven't set any alerts up on here but I'm just showing you the different menus um, where the alerts are and, and where the variables are for you to, to enable you to set these up and again those people familiar with um, some of the suites that, that sort of um, collate this information such as AMS um, and there's obviously other devices there because it's universal it's foundation field bus um, so again within our products whenever we do an update we have to send it to the, the foundation field bus federation um, and they ensure that it, it works with everybody's devices so it might not necessarily be an Emerson device that it's working with or an Emerson system such as Delta V it may be another system that your <coughs> customers using um, another analytical system maybe their own system um, but again because they have to work all in the same way um, you're able to set all these parameters up um, and you know there's um, within our IOM it gives you the name of, of, of these alerts and tags and tag names um, and I must admit I'm, I'm not um, I don't profess to be an expert in these but I understand that these obviously in your device you can um, these come across as a string so the information sent from F foundation field bus has this information in the string um, and if you're able to to sort of program um, 
the alerts within any device that, that then yeah you know it's um it's a way of doing it and, and anybody familiar with that will understand um what i'm trying to explain not not very well but uh, yeah we are able to to do that with their device so again you're able to simulate some of these alarms and alerts and, and see what comes up um just to ensure that it you, you know that alarm is working and, and is acting the way you want it to because again as i mentioned it, people are a little more advanced than me can obviously use these strings um to put up certain alerts and, and this again with the industrial internet of things this can be like um uh, an SMS messenger sent to a, a mobile phone to say that your um, the device is doing something it shouldn't. Uh, and again, because our device is within that technology, um, you know you're able to to integrate it all together.